Now, I believe it's time that we have a conversation on this channel about Central C because in the past six months, and I know it's not just me that has noticed this, but Central C has managed to push through and become one of the most popular names in the scene recently. Like he's kind of unstoppable at this point. And if anyone is being looked at as a focal point to kick off the UK rap scene in this coming decade, I'ma be honest, Central C might just be that guy. And as you might know, if you pay any attention to Central C, is that a couple of days ago, he released another single titled Commitment Issues set to appear on his upcoming mixtape, Wild West. And to put it lightly, the reaction to the song has been mad in terms of numbers and response to it. As of right now, it is sat on 1.2 million views and racked up 1 mil in less than two days on his own channel, which is definitely a big move for an artist like Central C who wasn't expected to make much of an impact to the scene after he hopped off the auto-tune wave that he was on before and has now come into his element on the UK lyrical rap front. And the reason I believe Central C has such a shine on right now, especially after constantly dropping heat in 2020, is due to the fact that he has found his place in the UK rap industry which is stacked to the fullest with different styles and genres. And he has found his way in. And then he has taken that newfound sound to a different level. His music, to me anyway, is the perfect marriage between lyrical content and production because he consistently picks the right type of instrumentals for the sound he is trying to create. And obviously it's working as his chosen production quite literally contributes and even excels the success of his tracks that otherwise wouldn't have been what they were without the beat selection being so strong and bringing the lyrical content to the forefront of the music. Take Molly for example and tell me that the instrumental here isn't what really separates the sound C is creating to the other rappers in his shadow because this is just a standout piece of production. Girl won't come round here, then play round here to buy me and we get money. Then I'm bro, as a joke, it's not easy. Like Central C's music as well is just filled with quotable bars that show he isn't new to talking so much grease on a track. Yet he's only been in the game without the use of auto-tune since mid-2020. And in such a short time, he's showed how much talent he's always had in the locker. It's like when you listen to Sench, it's actually rare that before the song ends, you've moved on to the next one on your playlist. Because so far, with all the singles pre-released before the arrival of Wild West, there has been no shortage of music from Central C that instantly hasn't clicked with me. Because if you stick with it all the way to the end of Central C's tracks, he never fails to disappoint me with his lyrical content, as it's not always girls and drip, even though we all know Central C does have drip to talk about. Look at last year, before Day in the Life was even released, I had never ever heard of Central C, because the auto-tune wave wasn't taking him where he deserved. And although I want to see that style from Central Central C return, he is now creeping into my top 5 rappers list which was all based off his lyrical music. And as well, to top it all, Sench managed to control the whole of the second half of last year with his releases including the previously mentioned Day in the Life, Molly, his Mad About Bars freestyle and then the major hit that of course was Loading, which is currently hitting 20 million views on YouTube, nicely exposed C's music to the mainstream, as it achieved number 19 in the UK Top 40 and has stayed in the Top 40 for over 16 weeks so far. It also hit those who hadn't even come across his music before, even if they were rap fans, as it was an easy introduction into a sound that usually doesn't get listened to unless it's in the mainstream or is a big hit like Loading. And when you are blending early 20th century trumpets and UK drill production on an instrumental with C's clean, clean flow, there isn't much else to be desired. And for me, convinced most people that Central C was a hit maker on the rise. And so far, 2021 is proving correct. Pinging kicked off this year for Sench along with an announcement for a mixtape and that looks to me like a recipe for success. Not only because it gives him a chance to cement himself at the top, but also gives Central C the chance to show he isn't messing about this year. As of course, there are no features to appear on the mixtape. 
um well this could be the downfall or the uprising of world west as a project as not only on a mixtape that doesn't work with varying styles and cadences to keep the sound original from central c's standpoint he actually has to deliver a track list that doesn't end up feeling like one long freestyle because on a 14 track list project there could be some issues. But clearly, talking of issues, with Commitment Issues debuting only a couple days ago, that might not be the case for this project, as the single straight away clicked with me. It brought a side to C's music that I haven't seen from him yet, and I wouldn't be against having more of the emotional, insightful music on the project as a whole, as it forces Central C down a musical path of having to manipulate his own tone of voice and his own style to portray a different side to the music and himself that he is serving up. And to keep every track sounding original, because if it works, the only direction from here on out with this mixtape is up for Central C. And pre-release, I'm looking at this mixtape as something I would instantly expect to bang. So I think the future is looking very bright for Central C, because not anyone out here earns a cosign from Big Sean, and well, look who did it. Of course it was Sench. Now, Central C, let me know what you think of his music down below. Is his music something that you personally feel, or does it not really stand out to you that much? Is the Sench with the auto-tune more down your alley, or is the lyrical music more impressive to you? And what do you think is going to come from this World West project? Let me know your thoughts in the comments below and yeah, feel free to leave a like and make sure you subscribe to this channel for more music news. You've been listening to The Noise Complaint and I'm out.